What's going on gamers? So the House of Wolves DLC has launched, but with it comes one more piece of the story of Thorn and its owner, Dredgen Yor. So let's get to the shoutouts. My shoutouts is one way that I try to show appreciation back to the community of gamers that has gotten me this far. So I want to give shoutouts to Hot Fuzz, Worried Rifle, Fanged Emil, Cody Logan, Andrew Toro, and Richard Wolf. So to give a little backstory on Dragon Yor, he was one of the most notorious gunfighters that existed in Destiny. He held what was believed to be one of the infamous Weapons of Sorrow. Thorn is known only through hearsay and folklore. Its power is to be feared and thought to be a curse. Weapons of Sorrow are thought to be modified by Hive Arcana and are capable of influencing Guardians. The Weapons of Sorrow were believed to be nothing more than a myth, but even the darkest myths are born of some truth. Now another example of a weapon of sorrow is the necrochasm. Any guardian who comes across the weapon must ask themselves a very simple question which has endlessly complicated answers. Is your light bright enough to stand even briefly in the full gaze of the hive's abyss? Can it handle what has died and been reborn in those shadows? In the crucible there was a known champion, a titan thought to be invincible, Thalor. Titan marks are made to honor individuals and events that stand out in history. His skill was great enough that a Titan mark was made to honor his abilities. Thalor's Golden Maul. Until the day the invincible Titan crossed paths with Dredgen Yor and his thorn. Thalor and Yor's battle in the Crucible was on an epic scale. So much so that their battle earned its own mark, the Mark of Contention. Now it's believed that Thorn drained the light from Thalor, killing him. If this is in fact true, then Thalor joins a long list of names that Dragon Yor killed. There are records of Yor and interactions that this particular guardian had, but the records are not so easy to translate. The records have been tampered with and have had information redacted and censored. Now the first time that I went into the transcripts, it confused me a bit. All the names but no one listed as speaking. It lists locations and items, but several are redacted. This is a newly discovered transcript that is between one ghost type designation redacted and one guardian type that has had its class redacted. You were not always this man. True. Then the math says you do not need to remain this man. You can be other. I am the other. You can be better. This is better. That matter, at best, is subjective. Then what? Lesser? Some would say. But what would you say? All we've seen and now, here with me, you have no words. I have words. But? But you will not like them. There is so much I do not like. More now than ever, it would seem. <laughs> I find no laughing matter in your path. Only in the journey. What brought you here was nobility. And my prize. That is no prize. <laughs> A curse, then? I would say. And I would disagree. You are no longer yourself. I am myself. It is who I was that's gone. Who you were held all the value. To you? To the light. <laughs> the light. It is all. It's nothing but a crutch. One that has held you up. Only just. And nothing more. Nothing more? You were a hero. And yet people still die. Corruption still exists. Light still fades. And darkness? It still spreads. As it will ever be. That doesn't mean you give in to... To what? Hope? This is not hope. This is peace. You have blood on your hands. How is that any different than prior? Innocent blood. That's a matter of perspective. That's the shadow talking. And am I not? The shadow? You know, these past cycles you've made an honorable effort, tried your best to correct my course but I don't think it needs correcting. And if it does? Could be too late. Could be is a winding path. Long way from where I was to where I'm going. That is my hope, that there is still time for corrective measures. The writing of our path, the cleansing of your shadow, and a return to the light. <sighs> Why'd you pick me? It doesn't work that way. Was I special? You were but only as special as any other. You are all special. Seems to contradict the word, don't it? Not in my estimation. If we're all special, are any of us special? Is that, that what you want? want? To be special? <laughs> you dismiss, but it's a very serious question. Is that all you're after? 
Is all the death worth that badge? Am I not already more than the rest? Looking at you here, now, the smoke, ash, and bone at your feet, mark you as so much less. Maybe, and yet here you are. Meaning? You have been by my side every step of the way. Where else would I be? Yet you disagree so thoroughly with my change in perspective. If only the change were simply one of perspective. Your evolution was no choice. This is not you having to come to an understanding after a careful, considered thought. This is corruption. The shadows? The darkness. Maybe so. There is no maybe here. And do you think you can save me? I rekindled your light. It falls first to me to aid in its survival. <sighs> I tire of it. You must try. I tire of you. Redacted. That is no longer my name. I will not speak the other. It doesn't matter. This is where we part ways. I will not leave you. I am leaving you. Without me, your journey ahead will be more than any one guardian can handle. That's the point. It's been some time since you saw me worthy of walking amongst those that I once called brother and sister. Yet, any more I feel as though I am worthy of so much more. Without me, you will die. Someday. It won't be the first time. Consider this my last good deed. I am releasing you of the burden of my deeds, both done and yet to come. I will not abandon you. You will, or I will carve the light from your shell and leave the carcass of my first and last friend in the dirt on this dull red world for no one to find. Then I failed you. Completely. Not me. Maybe the man I was. He is truly dead. I believe so. Belief is not fact. Semantics. I no longer have patience for. When you speak of me, use my proper name. Tell them of the man that stands before you, not of the ghost of the hero I once was. You will always be redacted to me. If you cannot let that man go, you will forever taint his legacy. All the good I have ever done will be washed away in the fire of who I have become. If you care, there is still some promise within you. If I am being honest, I only care to give hope to the frightened, huddled masses that when I come upon them, they will have more to lose. Their pain will be greater. Their screams will be more pure. You... Nothing dies like hope. I cherish it. You're a monster. Finally, you see the truth. Redacted is truly dead. So I've said, long live Dredgenor. This is farewell, but you can only run from your sins so far. In the end, you will die alone. Maybe so, but I gotta tell ya, I tend to like my odds. Your tainted rose will not always save you. Old friend, it already has. For a long time, I've yes. held the theory that Jaren Ward and Dragon Yor were the same guardian. Now, there are a few interesting similarities. In my Death of Jaren Ward video, the narrator, who I believe is Shin Malfour, says that Jaren's ghost speaks, but only with Jaren, and that the ghost is wary and guarded. Secondly, they hide the original name of Dragon Yor. Why? To preserve the good name of the guardian he was before the shadows took hold of him? Is that redacted name Jaren Ward? One idea that I had was this may be the instance that the ghost returned to Shima 4 after leaving Dredgen to himself. Now let's look at a few other details that would argue against them being the same person. Dredgen says that he would carve the light from the ghost shell and leave him on this red world. Is this a reference to Mars? If it is, then this is the first reference. Looking back at the Arms and Armament book, the names of the planets Earth, Mercury, Venus, and Mars are listed. This may be that tie-in. Now secondly, before the conversation takes place, smoke, ash, and bones lay at Draken's feet. He's just burned something recently, possibly the town of Palamon, or possibly the victims of a crucible map on Mars, which would make a little more sense. So what are your ideas? I've always liked the theory that Ward and Yor were the same man. Looking at the details of this part makes me think there's still a lot yet to be discovered, and they may indeed be different people. One thing is certain. No matter which way you think of this, this is one of the best stories in Destiny. Well, if you like this type of content, just hit that like button, or leave a comment, or if you want to see more, just hit that subscribe button. But as always, guys, have a good one.